Vinny, you're two from two in the Alliance Cup. Uh, how do you reflect on last weekend's game? Yeah, you know, the girls were uh, very adaptable um, in the game. We Two hookers came off injured. Um, oh, look, we struggled in the set piece, uh, scrum and line out, but to score 29 points and, and show some real good resilience at the end, not to let Ealing go over for a draw or a win, uh, just shows the heart that the girls have got. Yeah, and Trailfinders new to the league, we didn't know a whole lot about them. Um, what did you make of their performance on first viewing? Yeah, very impressive, you know, and um, their number eight was looking good and Liz Craig we knew about coming from Wasps. I thought she was very good in the scrum especially, but around the park her ball carrying was outstanding, but the one for me was Abby Burton. Um, I just thought defensively and in attack she was outstanding and uh, the work rate around the park was, a, was very, very promising. And last week you asked for a more direct performance from the girls. Do you think you got that last weekend? Yeah, it's very difficult when you don't get uh, scrum or line out. But um, one thing what we did look at was some real good territorial games uh, uh, about us. And then just our kick return, uh, you know, phase attack, counter attack was really sharp. And that's something that we're looking to build on again. Yeah, and um, Gloucester Hartbury defended for about 20 minutes, I think it might have been, towards the end of the game. Obviously, massively pleasing for you to see them defend that well for so long. Yeah, definite, you know, but th there are there are areas where I prefer to be defending and uh, that's higher up the park. Um, we just let them make a lot of line breaks. I think they had eight line breaks altogether and compared to our two line breaks. Um, but th those are the things we need to be working on and um, you're not going to fix everything overnight and it's real good that we're going into this weekend with uh, pieces to fix. Yeah, and, and obviously a big part of this competition is developing some of the younger players. Do you feel like this has been a good learning curve for a lot some of the younger girls? Oh, definitely. You know, you look at last year we had six under 23 players this year we got 12 under 23s in the squad and we're um, going two from two results winning is great but also making sure that we, these girls are performing but they're developing with it as well yeah and Rachel Lund captain side well 70 meter try and an all-round strong performance um, how do you rate her performance yeah, you always know what you're going to get from Lundy. She's, um, you know, very powerful in attack and the areas which we're asking her to be working on this year, you can clearly see that she's been doing that and, uh, yeah, to rip that ball and have a 70-yard 70, 70 dash and, and score in the corner is great. And Quinns this weekend, what kind of challenge are they going to pose? <laughs> yeah, look, they, they're going to be hungry. They, they lost against Loughborough at uh, the Stoop. They don't like losing at the stoop. Uh, coming to uh, the Alpa um, University, Hartbury University is going to be an interesting one. Uh, but they got Briny Cleal and they got Shauna Brown, very good ball carriers. But then let's not forget about Scotty and um, Tulak, Tuimi, uh, Laggy in the uh, back line that they've got. They're very sharp. And the England Red Roses team was announced today. We've got eight girls in, in uh, that side. How pleasing is it for you to see such a big Gloucester Harbury representation in the England side? Yeah, it's amazing. It just goes to show how much hard work these girls are putting in all last season, uh, being away with the Red Roses. Um, and it's lovely to see now that they're in the WXV, playing against Australia this weekend. And uh, it's great to see so many uh, GH players in there. And just lastly, we've recently just learned that Worcester, uh, Worcester women are going to be withdrawing from this year's competition. Um, your initial thoughts on that? Yeah, very sad. Um, you know, it's uh, thoughts are with all players, staff, you know, and supporters. It's um, such, such a shame um, that it's happened in the women's game and, uh, you know, thoughts are with uh, everyone there. Best luck for the weekend. Thank you.